So here he is, one of the more prolific finishers in UFC history with the highlight reel to prove it. Anderson the Spider Silva, former UFC middleweight champion, 10 straight successful title defenses. He started his UFC career 16-0. He has beaten a who's who of elite middleweights and light heavyweights. Anderson Silva back under the bright lights tonight. Anderson Silva has the perfect combination of speed, timing, intelligence, and confidence. He is one of the most successful mixed martial arts fighters in the history of the sport. Jackson Wink MMA staple. Here is the Albuquerque, New Mexico based former UFC light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones. Essentially an undefeated fighter. The only loss in his career by DQ to Matt Hamill back in the day. He has taken all comers. He has chewed them up. He has spit them out. The consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones may very well be the greatest single talent we have ever seen inside the octagon. An incredible athlete, very intelligent and driven man. He has all of the ingredients of greatness. for this light heavyweight tilt. Silva is 12 years his senior. Jones will have a seven inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John. Instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Right, I'm very excited. And we are on the way. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? John Jones has excellent elbow technique. It's something to definitely look out for in this fight. Very rare technique. You don't see too many guys throw that side pick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful 
left hand there. Takedown attempt there. Watch the shot here, Joe. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flat. Huge kick misses. Punch coming, it's blocked. Landed there. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Another nice knee there. Big shots! Just over two minutes, round one. And he goes to the knee to the body. Oh! He's in big trouble. And now a head kick to boot. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, huge shot there. Oh, beautiful kick. Fainting with that kick. Oh. The kick! Oh. He him. He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Just missed with that huge kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. Round two straight ahead. All right, you hear the horn. Big, big round for him there. Multiple knockdowns. Huge round from John Jones. A huge round. His opponent was in deep, deep water, but through conditioning and willpower, managed to make it out alive. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Good job, baby. Took the round right at the end. Beautiful. Hey, you just won this thing. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Here you go. Second round. You ready? You ready? Let's Second go. round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. John Jones is perhaps the greatest talent we've ever seen inside the Ox. Whoa! He's badly, badly hurt. Cut, but fell short. Big body shot. shot. To body. Lands a giant kick. Oh! Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there too. He hurt him with that hook.
Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. John Jones is punishing the body here. Oh, absolutely, Joe. I mean, at this point, these body strikes hurt to watch. Trying to take the back here. Under a minute now to go in the round. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. Spins around, gets the back. Over under now, Joe. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Silva. My round three coming up next. Stop, stop. Hey, let's take a look here. Here's a perfect head kick. And here's another head kick. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. First, here we go. Here's your water. Calm down. Relax. Big breaths, my friend. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. was an all-out draw. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Jones gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. him there. Beautiful shot to the body. How about that chin? Oh, yeah, looks a little close. wobbly on his feet. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. Knee to the body. Body kick, look at that. Big shots. Oh, vicious knee to the body. He's hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, he's getting hit. And shoots in for the takedown. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And he winds up on top. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back to full guard, very nice. Controlling him from behind. Very nice sweep, winds up in his opponent's guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. A elbow to the head there by Silva. Now the target with that left hand, Joe. Flattens him out, ooh, not good. He's got his back here, looking for the rear naked choke. He's got him flattened out. He wants to get one arm underneath the neck. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. He rolls him over. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have and to tap. It incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory.
Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So another win tacked on to the total of one of the most decorated champions in UFC history. Anderson Silva does it again and really thought he looked sharp tonight. You could tell early on in the fight, the future Hall of Famer, Anderson Silva, getting it done in a big way here tonight.